it's Yakumi here. Today I just want to share my kitchen with you, my pantry and what I use to cook with. Um, I want to show you how easy and simple healthy meals can be and that you don't need expensive um, ingredients or superfoods. Okay, so come on in, let me show you. I always keep eggs at hand, they're very versatile. I can use it in breakfast, in lunch or in salads. Then I have um, a ginger garlic paste, which is ideal for stews. I have some garlic, beetroot, gherkin, which I use in my salads, some olives, and then a stir fry sauce, which I love. Fresh, clean, cold water, always at hand. If you have it at hand, you're obviously going to sip on it throughout the day, so make sure you always have fresh, fresh water available. Then I have low-fat milk. You can watch my video on low-fat versus um, full cream milk. I have some salad dressing, some sauces for cooking, a hot sauce, which is really, really hot. So if you're not into hot stuff, don't have hot sauce. Then up here I have cooked eggs, which I'm going to use later in one of my dishes. I have some bread. Um, some fruit juice. I do, do drink cooling from time to time. I prefer 100% fruit juice and then I just dilute it with a little bit of water. I use margarine. Um, I have some onion, <laughs> some yogurt, feta cheese for my salad. Um, then I have ready to use vegetables, which is super convenient, especially for short of time. You don't have to cut or prep or anything, it's ready to use. You just throw it in a pot or use it in the microwave. So this is ideal for busy clients. Um, I have mayonnaise, which I love. I also use it on sandwiches, in salads. We, there's also a video about um, reduced fat mayonnaise and full cream mayonnaise, so we'll talk about that later if we're not sure which one to use. Down here, I have my protein for the week. Um, I use different ones, chicken, meat. I also use um, beans and lentils, things like that, and also canned meat like tuna fish, also which is super convenient to use. Then I have potatoes and corn, which I love. I am not someone that cut out carbs. You can still eat a lot of carbs, look for whole grain or otherwise carbs from plant sources such as potato and corn. Then in here I have uh, my vegetables, salads, things I use either as snacks on crackers or I use it in salads or on sandwiches. Um, I love grapes, I have some avas, onions, lettuce, tomato in here. Alright, next up we're going to look at um, the fridge part. I just want to tell you I'm not sponsored by any company. No one is um, paying me to show me their products. You don't have to buy a specific brand. This is just to show you more or less what you can use in your cooking. So no specific brand, I go to different shops, I buy different things depending on what's on sale and what I like. Uh, this is just to give you a general overview. Okay, up here I keep tortilla wraps in my fridge. This is super convenient for lunches or suppers even. You can use it with stir fry, with chicken strips, um, with salad, tuna, things like that. So this is very, very handy. I also keep my cooking things in the fridge like icing sugar, coconut, wheat flour and then lasagna just to keep it fresher for longer. In here I have ice, water and then ice bags which I use for lunch boxes um, just to keep my food fresh and cold during the day. This is very very um, great to use, you should really get a few of these. And then I do have ice cream in my fridge, yes dietitians do eat ice cream. If you're someone that finds yourself craving sweet things often, you'll see if you are not restricting it anymore, you might go crazy the first week and eat it twice a day. But then after once you know it's always available, you do eat it less often. Um, so this is my favorite. And then down here I just have some meat that I freeze for whenever I use this. Um, and then seafood 
mix which is also very convenient you can make quick dishes in less than 10 minutes with it okay next we're heading to the cupboard so that i can show you what i have in here okay i'll start this side I have uh, some oil for cooking and salads. I use olive oil and canola oil most of the time. Then I love my spray and cook, which I use for the pans or pots so it doesn't stick. I have lemon juice, which is great for cooking. I have some snacks, different ones with nuts, seeds, raisins, dried fruit, things like that. Some crackers. Ideal for snack time in the mid-morning or after work before I prepare supper. Um, balsamic vinegar, which is also great for salads and savory dishes. Rice cakes, corn, homemade popcorn is always a winner. Okay, I have some peanut butter, which I keep at hand. This is um, great for in cooking or also on sandwiches. Syrup I use. I don't have honey at the moment. I'm out of honey, but syrup is also a good replacement. And I do have a video for you on the difference between syrup and honey, so you can check that out. I keep some tinned fruit, um, such as tuna, chickpeas, or corn. Um, when I don't have fresh ingredients available, I can just use that for dishes or salads. Then I have a lot of spices. Um, you can't cook delicious food without spices. Um, so I have some cooking sauce, I have some flavorings, chutney, tomato paste, um, salt, pepper. When you choose um, spices or herbs, the ones with the green lid or yellow lid is lower in salt, so they are always good options. And then I have a whole lot of spice in here. So fresh herbs are all, all um, obviously the best, but I mean you can dry them, you can keep them for later. Um, some chili, which is also quite hot, but this is ideal for stews um, mostly and in savory dishes. Down here I have gin. <laughs> I love gin with tonic. I don't drink it too often, maybe one or two um, per week. Then I have some vitamins. I'm not going to show you the brands. For most people, a multivitamin and omega-3 will do the trick. Um, unless you have specific deficiencies or you don't eat certain foods such as um, dairy products, then you might need a calcium supplement. But for the general population, a multivit and omega-3 will do the trick. Then I have my coffee, tea. I love chai tea and then also rooibos tea. I have some sugar. I don't drink sugar in my coffee or tea, but I use it in cooking from time to time. Then some homemade rusks. You can find the recipe on my blog. This is a family recipe we've been doing for years and it's really delicious. Then milk. I keep long life milk just because I don't milk that, use milk that often. So it's just better it keeps special for longer. Then this side I have my starchy food, spaghetti, lasagna, even porridge, so I like porridge. Um, then some lentils and barley, some basmati rice, pasta. This is my homemade muesli. You can also find a recipe on my blog. It's very nice with cinnamon inside. Then I use jungle oats. I'm also in smoothies and then for breakfast obviously. Some Nutrifix, you can look out for any um, breakfast cereal that's high in fiber, whole wheat, low GI, um, such as Wheat Fix, Nutrifix, Oats, um, Prunitro, Future Life, any breakfast cereal is just convenient for those mornings when you don't have time to do, um, prepare something. And then I also have Future Life which I use in smoothies most of the time because I'm not crazy about the texture. So I prefer it in smoothies. And that's what I have in my cupboard and fridge. You can see no superfoods, nothing weird, nothing fancy. And this is what I use to prepare healthy and delicious meals. I'll see you next time.